everyone! Today I wanted to share a really quick and easy repair tutorial for how to reattach Barbie heads that have come apart from the neck, but more specifically when the head articulation, so this little ball joint guy, sometimes they have prongs, when that pops out of the neck and you're left without a ball attached to the body. So how do you put that to back together? It's actually really, really easy. And I've been asked how to do this countless times, but with any tutorial, I film it when I have a broken doll, and since all of my dolls already haven't been fixed, I would obviously need to get a doll that required this repair. So I'm sorry it took so long. This doll here, this is 1990 Fashion Play Barbie, and she's already been cleaned. I mean, I personally like to clean the doll before I reattach the head, you're gonna need the neck articulation, which looks like this. I'll show you a close-up of it after. So Barbie over here, she didn't have her neck articulation when I got her at the charity store. She had the infamous fat head, which I think we all know what that looks like, this, very unflattering. Um, this is actually really bad for your Barbies. Like if they have broken necks, I wouldn't advise giving them fat heads just because it stretches out the neck hole as you can see here, I'll give you a close-up of that after too. And when you do reattach the head, if you don't try to shrink this up, what's going to happen is the head's going to like wobble around. What you're going to need is just an articulation, the doll, and the bowl of hot water. For me, I have a whole storage thing of all neck joints that in here. In this compartment, I have a bunch. I've been saving those since I was a kid. Sometimes they're just floating around in bins of dolls you get at the flea market. And a lot of times when a child breaks a doll and they go to put it on a new body, the joint will actually be in the head and then they'll reattach the head to a new body that already has a joint. So sometimes like you'll hear rattling in a doll. That rattling is actually the neck joint floating around inside the head. So um, You can buy them on eBay if you need to. I've personally never needed to. And anytime that I have a loose head, that is like damaged, that I can't rebody for some reason as trash. I always make sure to remove the neck joints from the head and have them just in case for things like this. So you can get them online. Um, it probably isn't the cheapest thing to do, but that's really the only place I can think of that you could like go and get one if you needed it now. If not, it's best to just stockpile them like I've been. So without further ado. So first and foremost, this is how big her neck hole is. It's very stretched out. I mean, look how huge that is. This is what the neck articulation looks like. Like I said, there are some that have prongs on the end, but there are these little pieces. So there's a few different ways you can do this. Um, sometimes I will just lubricate the neck hole and the joint with baby oil. That will make it, you know, slick enough to go back in. But since this is an African-American body and like these are much harder to find for me personally, I don't even want to take the risk. So what I'm going to do is first I need to shrink up this hole. And if you didn't know this already, hot water is the best way to get plastic and rubber and stuff to return to its original form. So we're just going to leave Barbie in the bowl for a minute. That's why like boil washes work on their hair and how you can like um, fix their limbs if they've been contorted. So while that's heating up, I'm also going to heat up the neck hole. So basically, this is going to soften the plastic on everything and make it easier to reattach. So I'm going to do this for like a little bit, just until I feel like it's ready. So like Barbie's neck hole has already shrunk up substantially, which is great. So now that this is soft and this is soft, I'm just I'm going to drop it. This is where it might help to kind of dry your fingers a bit. So I'm going to like actually use a towel to kind of help me get a little grip here. And you're going to just place the round part into the neck. And there you have it. You could hear it click in. And basically how this works is there are seams on the side of the neck as you can see right here. And that's what allows it to kind of flush open so you can put it in. So the flat part or the prong needs to be pointing up because that's what locks the head in and the round part is what goes in the neck. And since Barbie's head's been sitting in here for a few minutes, I'm sure that the neck hole is where it needs to be. We're just gonna kind of comb her hair out. She also was getting a boil wash. See, it works out. And then we're gonna take her and we're just gonna pop her back on. Now there is a little crack in her neck. 
That does happen sometimes. She is really old. I do have a tutorial for repairing chips, ne chips next. You can look that up if you want. You can see her head's nice and tight. And voila! So she's just going to go in for the rest of her boil wash. And uh, Mama Heart over here is going to join her. <clears throat> Please ignore her and the dolls in the background. So I will show you what she looks like when she is all dry. So I wanted to show you guys really quickly what some other types of neck articulations look like. So this kind here with the ball and the flat top is exactly what I put in my Fashion Play Barbie. This little mini guy, which is a smaller version, is for a 1987 mold skipper doll. And then this is what most like newer dolls from like the 90s and onward use. So there's this um, hole in the bottom. And that's because there's supposed to be a peg that goes through it that's fused inside the doll's neck to hold it in place, but those get broken all the time, which is how this one came out of the body. And then it also has prongs on the top here. A lot of people cut the prongs off. I personally don't. And then a really new head joint will have a very long post at the top with prongs at poking out. So those are very hard to like put on and take off, but kids still manage to break them. And here's Fashion Play Barbie, all set, and you can see her head is attached. She has full mobility, which is great. And her head is actually nice and tight, like how it should be. It's not like wobbling around, and that's because I shrunk up the neck hole before reattaching her head. And if you do this, um, and the head is still wobbly even after you've shrunk up the neck hole. You can just take some either like elastic band, a ribbon. I like to use fishing line because it doesn't fray and it also doesn't dry rot. And you just wrap it around, here I'll show you. You just wrap it around this long part here right before the barb or like on one of these joints right underneath the flat part. So the narrowest part of the joint, you put something there to fill it out so that the head is tighter. I have a tutorial on Flickr. I'll link it below if you want to like tighten the head. Um, and like I said, I have one for repairing neck cracks as well. This worked out really well. So she's very sturdy and she looks great now. So before I close out this video, I do want to say that there are some doll restoration websites that carry neck joints. I'm pretty sure RestoreDoll.com, which is where I usually buy doll hair for rerouting. They have like certain parts for vintage dolls at least. I know you can get like replacement leg pegs and things. Um, and I'm not sure if dollyhair.com has it, but look around online. There are a lot of like doll restoration websites and things that might have joints for you. Um, but you can also try to make your own. Now I've never needed to try this, but my talking PJ doll, um, she actually had her, her leg was broken and her previous owner had drilled into it and therefore the original leg peg was destroyed in the process of being drilled and so her screwed on leg fell off at some point and so I had to figure out a way to reattach it so I made my own new leg peg there's also pictures of this on Flickr I used um, like liquid acrylic uh, and powdered acrylic which is what I used to repair neck cracks and I just like made my own little peg and I like sized it into her hip properly and then I let it cure um, you could make neck joints out of like different materials like um, resins, polymer clay, things like that and see how that worked. But it would be really important to make sure that the size was very accurate. Um, the easiest one to make would be like the flat top joints and those are also the easiest to like remove the head from if you needed to like swap the body or something. So I just thought I'd include it there. If I ever have to make one for some reason, I'll definitely film it, but I don't need to. Um, it would be good to have a spare neck joint anyways for size reference. But I hope this helped you out. There are other ways that you can reattach the neck articulation. This is just my method. Always do your research and do what feels best for you. And until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.